Hello, and welcome to the tenth session of this monstrosity. I am Callum. I am running this game somehow. I just realized we don't normally do introductions, so that was, no, that was pointless. Um, <laughs> so uh, now we're just rolling with it. That, that, with me, I have... Uh, it's, it's, it's I have... the 10th anniversary edition, you know? Sure. Yes. With me, I have Mr. Ewan. And that'll Greetings. be your cue to say something. Yeah, like just like that. You'll be your Gilmore girl. Alexander. Good evening. Mangy. I'm back. <laughs> Oh, well, you just disappointed me. Oh, I'm sorry. As always. <laughs> Too busy looking at postcards. Too busy looking at postcards Stop of naked ladies. My porn. <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, I swear it wasn't porn I was looking at. We have Sindri. Hello. And we have Dig Doglio, or D Dig Diggy, sorry. <laughs> That's your what? character name. <laughs> and Ryan. Yay. Tenth session, guys. Well done. We made it. Thank you for listening Later. and good night. Um, who remembers what happened last time? I think I know somebody that does. Who does? <laughs> Dig Zog. Stonebreaker. Ah, Hovick. Oh, Hovick knows. Well, we're not going to all roll history and then. Oh, yeah. yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Everyone roll history. Ah, oh, fuck. And the best and the worst have to tell it. Um. Right, hang on. It's good roll, you. Yeah. Character sheet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck! Had a net one, come on. I refuse to be part of this uh, horrible uh, economy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> shun him. Shun. Shun. Shame. I, I, I feel like I stated this last session too. You did state this like, last session. Yep. <laughs> See, my history is not high enough to remember that. Mm. That's <laughs> worrying if a 19 is not high enough to remember yeah. that. So, Ovek. <laughs> so, <laughs> Christ. That is actually actually is it funny that the rules literally meant nothing? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, uh, whose line is it anyway? <laughs> it's just whoever <laughs> rolled first. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Alright. So, uh... Ovik started last week in a, in a pub. As it's quite quite a, a common occurrence for Ovik. But, um, I noticed Tokjar um, heading up to the bar to get a drink. So, went and accompanied him for a little chat whilst uh, some of the others put on a performance of some music, um, drank his usual keg of ale, and enjoyed enjoyed the rather impressive performances uh, going on in the, in the corner of the bar. Um, after having a, a short chat with Dr. R, he noticed um, I think Tilda and Emu uh, having a conversation with uh, Mr. Powers, uh, assuming that it was something to do with our payment. Uh, and so decided to keep an eye on that conversation um, until they decided to leave, uh, stating where they were going, which was useful. Um, shortly after, Tokjar decided to take a walk, and Ulrich decided, um, maybe I'll have a, maybe I'll go with him if, he, if he's happy with that. So uh, we managed to walk about to the corner of the street before we looked down this alleyway, and uh, some some little scoundrels trying to steal our carts and uh all that couldn't see his cart so decided to chase after them um with help from Tokshar, of course um they split up in ways at a fork road as uh the cart went one way and some some of these scoundrels went the other all that managed to run down a couple of them and uh cuff them up and well not cuff them up but grab them by the collars and drag them back to the station um where he found uh, Emu and Tilda interrogating uh, the young lad from the caravan station earlier. Um, I think he arrived just as this guy was being sort of mended from wounds and or mended from a poisoning I believe, brought back to life. Um, so Ovar went over and grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and lifted him up, shook him awake. 
and proceeded with some more questioning. Um, didn't seem to be getting a lot out of him, but we'll see where that gets us in the future. It's pretty much what Olvek saw. Yes. Anyone else want to fill in the, the non ovec centric uh, points? Got a house. Got a house, yes. I met, met, met the house. locals. I got my pot noodle and blended in. I mean, he is the locals now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no longer British Gorm, I'm British normal person. I think you're uh, your average Joe, I believe. <laughs> Yes. Um, so what's what's a Gaelic for collar then? Because isn't British blue? Yeah. So um, you're no longer British. Or you're British. I don't know what blue color. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll look it up in the Gaelic dictionary. <laughs> I know it's a um, bit highbrow, but you know, I figured I'd go there anyway. <laughs> oh, I like yeah. to think that Mangy's just got like a Gaelic right. dictionary in the side of his desk. <laughs> um, I do at home anyway, but not not here yet. There's a really good <laughs> dictionary online called them Facklerbrick. But... On the uh, got a house point, I uh, robbed a man, stole some keys, got a house. Well, you robbed a man, stole some keys, and then he left, presumably to try and go home. <laughs> presumably to try and go home. <laughs> um, so that'll be interesting. Now. Indeed. I, I want his possessions. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that the um, the videos of the past ones are available, we we were able to to find that um, Rod Powers agreed to give a fifty percent bonus on top of the original um, contract. Are you sure it wasn't seventy percent? I'm sure it was fifty. <laughs> <laughs> See that the thing is, there's no point because because I can just go back and check it later if I agree on the seventy. But fifty percent, yeah, that's yeah. It, 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 the evidence is there, but cool. I'm afraid that the uh, Gaelic just is a uh, caller, but in a Moorish accent. So it's caller. <laughs> There's a few other words. Caller is still kind of cool, right? <laughs> I'm a trouser caller. <laughs> and uh, oh yes, I suppose. What did what did Emu get up to last session? I mean, I think it was mostly covered. Yeah. Um, she, she chased down the, the kid that was trying to run away. That was, that was fun. And yeah, it was sort of the interrogation with Tilda. Yep. And then Tilda had some chats with uh, a Mr. Jar. Indeed. Talk Jar and uh, Rod Powers. And yes. it was most enlightening and helpful and unhelpful in various ways. Yeah, I think it just ended with her smiling. Yes, Some indeed kind of it did. Form of relief. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh. And I guess what we'll do is we'll come back in. I think we left. Uh, Emu threatening the the kid, and the kid said something along the lines of, um, "It doesn't matter what you'll do, but <clears throat> it can't be half as bad as what." She she'll do, or words to that effect, uh, and we'll fade back in on there. Didn't I also threaten the child? Yeah, you held us. Oh yes, you held that. You held us. <laughs> <chopped> his head off. <laughs> I think I think everyone else was more kind of like, oh, wait wait wait, no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be able to bring him back. Uh, that is correct. Yes. Um, so in the room we have Ovec, Emu, and I suppose Dig Doglio as well. Yes. Oh, and Cinder is, um, and uh, Peter is there as well. Yes, indeed. I am indeed. Probably feeling a bit more sympathetic to the lad on the floor than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was rushing over to him. Trying to... So this is like just after he said that um, the woman would be harsher than us, right? Yeah, and you know maybe we also had like as as maybe like the credits started to roll, everyone going, "You think so?" And I just sort of like grab him. Or I'm already grabbing him by the collar, but like lift him up like right face to face with me, uh -huh. and then just say, "Well." We can 
give you the sweet release of death. But if you do not answer our questions first, we will crush every bone in your body and break you down to within an inch of life and then take it away from you. And then we'll bring it back and do it all over again and again and again until you give us what we want. Uh, do you want to intimidate, please? I would very much like to intimidate. I'm very glad I'm not part of that party currently. <laughs> <laughs> um, Would it be just even worse with you there? <laughs> just to add on to this one, can I like have crazy eyes on and like just lick the edge of my battle axe? <laughs> you know, I don't think you even need to ask if you can. I feel like that's just standard at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to roll intimidation? Or maybe you could give me advantage, I don't know. Hi. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that could be helping. Sure, you can also roll again. Not that um, a 21 is a bad roll at all. Oh, yeah, um, I know. We want to get to shit. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, think... Um, you yeah. cut your, your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blood. It's, it's really terrifying, but at the same time, it's also like, ooh, what is, what is the... Hmm. It's kind of off-putting for everyone <laughs> Take else. Take one damage. <laughs> um... No, yeah. So uh, as 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 you kind of like you know bring him close to your face and you know maybe you get a little bit distracted with Tig Doglio, you know, seemingly trying to make out with his axe, and <laughs> he, I think you see like his face kind of drop to like that sort of fear in their his eyes as he like tries to cover up that he's you know probably pissing himself that this. Goliath of a of a being is um you know I see breathing a down forming. it. Yeah. Um and it's it's not it's not a uh, sweat. Um <laughs> I I think um Emu would uh, come forward again and say Well such such ways could be possible, but I think it's a far simpler solution. We simply keep him with us and um, the next time we, and uh, very soon, I believe we are supposed to speak with uh, the, dam, the Madame Heath, and we shall let her know how helpful she, um, this young lad was in telling everything that he, ha he knew about her secrets and um, every which way that he was already planning on, um, uh, on betraying her to us. I think what do I think um what I will do is come back I'm trying to remember how much of the Leah Heath you know and if you would jump do you know what do you know what let me um Yeah, I think um, like the with the intimidation rule anyway. He, I think he looks between Emu and and uh, Ovek, and he, again, you everyone sort of notices that he is very much afraid. And um, I think in a kind of shaky voice, he's like, um, I. <sighs> Uh, and I think he starts to cry a little bit and just says, I, I can't. Um, and, you know, some tears flow down his face. Jeez. So, Peter. How how does how does Peter react to, to, to all this? So you've seen, um, you know, a half-orc um, cut himself in an axe while... Ovek is um, threatening this child to break all their bones and Himu threatening to chop them in. Multiple pieces. Mm -hmm. I've already asked if I could heal him and they said no. Yes. So um, Peter would probably just sit in a corner kind of hunched over himself and like listen to like the s slaps and the smacks and like shiver every time he hears something. He's like, oh, 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 God, not again. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, kind of peek over his shoulder every like two minutes to see if the guy's dead and needs healing. He's not <laughs> a big fan, but we don't like beating him at the moment. I know, but if yeah. you were to start beating him, yeah, because we'll, we'll I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> what kind of beating him? <laughs> Did not someone yet. say beating? <laughs> <laughs> I rage. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, cool. Uh, what we'll do is we'll jump over to Gorm sitting in. Uh, well, he's kind of you know gone gone for to the local shop for noodles. Maybe he's taking them back to to his new abode. Um, could I have um, if they have letter boxes or whatever, um, popped a letter through. Uh, Joe's. Well, depending on whether I completely bullshitted that that neighbor was like was related to average Joe or not. Um, pop that letter through her letterbox. Be like, oh, bye, bye. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I I do believe you've rolled pretty good on um. Your uh, twenty six on the yeah. Letter, so anyway. no, yeah, like um, yeah. By by all means, like maybe you've you've gone to the shop, you've you've taken the letter and you've just posted it into um, uh, Greta's the uh, door. Hmm. Um. And uh, yeah, that's fine. You do that. I've also um, taken note that you've done that. What I plan to do is to acquire knowledge of my neighbours and, depending on the situation, return to the gang and try to help out. Okie dokie. So, um, I'd probably go back to the, the flat and I know there's a lady in the opposite one and there's two others. So I'll knock on one of the other two Cool. Presumably, uh, if it's like a, like a, a, like a square, and mine's the first on the left or the door to the left, um, and then the opposite side, I'll go to like the one below mine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think uh, as you knock, like uh, a, a a guy just answers the door. He's Party, like, hello, hello. Uh, I'm in your neighbor, and there's. I, I felt like I should introduce myself. I, mean, I know I'm a strange-looking fellow. Uh, look at all this fur. Uh, anyway, I'm... Yes, it's just... Hi, I'm a... Uh, Joe. Um... Jo hi Jonathan. Hi, Joe. Nothing. Jo Jonathan. Jonathan, yes. Um, and he, like, he does kind of, like, look down, and he looks like he's very much not the type of person who, uh interacts with other people um or in i guess in this case cat people um maybe if you look past him you see his flat's a bit messy and uh, it, and yeah he just that's it he just goes oh hi hope you're you're you moved fine uh just me um can i can i interest you in a cup of tea uh, I don't, I don't um, really... If it's okay, I bought tea. <laughs> oh, well, so I was getting noodles, so if that's, if that's potentially possible. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, he goes, uh, uh sure? Yeah, my room's just over there. Um, new, new, new tenant in that. Um, I'll, I'll invite the neighbour. You, you can, you can come around. Oh, thanks. Um, I'll I'll get changed first, and you know you see he's kind of like dressed as if he's kind of just rolled out of bed, you know, um, in sort of like nightshirt, and you know, his very mm. stereotypical sleeping cap. Did he state his name? No. Uh, what's your name, good fella? Oh, um, it's uh, it's um, <laughs> David. Can I roll, like, insight? Yeah, you certainly can. Uh, he seems like he's just... He just doesn't like talking to people at all. And he probably just forgot to introduce himself. Plus, what were the chances this was somebody else doing the same ploy as you? Right? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> 
we happen to end up at the same four in a block. You know. I think I think Gorm views it like if it's potentially possible, it's definitely happening. <laughs> um, I'll just leave and go to the opposite door. Cool. Um, for argument's sake, it's the it's the young girl who opened the door the first time when you were hammered. Who, oh. who just comes up? He's like, "Oh, it's you, Mister um, Joe, was it? Jonathan. Jonathan. Oh, strange well, I name. I was wearing the mask of Joe's. Was I not wearing? Oh, wait, no, sorry, you're not thinking. She goes, yeah. sorry. Yes, <laughs> in my head, for some reason, you were um, yeah. you were still uh, thinking, even though you said you hadn't. No, she just opens the door and goes, "Oh, oh, my, hi, hi, hello." Yeah. Didn't, didn't expect someone such as yourself to answer the door. Your neighbor is a bit, a bit shy, I suppose. Takes all sorts. Uh, I'm, I'm your new neighbor, just uh, just over there. Uh, just Probably. moved in. Is is that not um that that guy? Uh, that guy. What was his name from the other from last night? Joe. I'm, Joe? I'm told it was Joe. Yes, yes. Um. I don't know much, but apparently he had a bit of a breakdown last night, and then decided he was he was off 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 of the trot. He wanted to be, become a bagpipe player. Surprisingly, did I, did I miss something where we travelled far far in the future? Like, yeah, well, he's in a different timeline at this point. Right. Okay. Cool. Don't worry. So it's now the next day for him. The right. next day for him. Okay. Fear. Yeah, I, did, I said all that without thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm having tea around at mine if you if you like. Sure, um, I'll. Uh... What, what's your name? Oh, I I'm I'm Lucy. I see, I see. No, Lucy. Oh. I see, Lucy. Lucy is fine. She I'll just take that as an L. She just smiles and um uh goes uh, when when when's when's tea tea time? Um Oh uh, that's a good point. Maybe maybe tomorrow. I'll do it I'll do it tomorrow. Four o'clock suits you. Okie dokie. She closes the door. Doesn't say goodbye or anything, just closes the door. Then the next door. Next door, you don't get an answer. Um, <laughs> it is um, the eighty-fourth cycle on the thirteenth rotation. Um. So these flats, do they all have like windows? Like um, inside the flats. Yeah. Yeah, there's like one. There's like one window. So if like the building's like a square, there's a window on the outward most wall, so the furthest away from the door from each thing. But it's just the one. Right. And then that looks on to like a communal, like tiny garden thing per like, um, each half of the flat. If that makes sense. Mm. So one side of the flats, the, the two, um, two flats has. A communal garden out the back of there, and then the other side has a communal garden out the back of there. Yeah. Um. Could I, like, cast um disguise self and turn into like, um. What should I turn into? Uh, a really scruffy looking dog that's pretty pretty mangy and like. It's of medium build, and it's got dark, um, grey mottled fur, and it's this is obviously never been washed in its life. And it, it looks quite hungry, but it also like has like a distended stomach. Like it's it might not actually be as hungry. It just could be just could be just like an evil dog. Uh, I don't actually know. Can you? Do you want to thing you disguise self? Uh, into the chat. No, like the actual spell. <laughs> Uh, 
right eagle. One foot tall and shorter. Thin, fatter in between. So, in theory, if you had a slave, and that slave was on top of you, could you just disguise that thing as well? <laughs> or the slave as well? Because it's a belonging. Turn and into a camel. <laughs> <laughs> so really, well, yeah, you get like, you know, like two halflings sitting on, like one on the other's shoulder, <laughs> disguising themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Walking into a bar, hey, you're not 18. Oh, God damn it. They found it. <laughs> Comes back. You have to be my slave for this to work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, <laughs> sell me your life and we can get drinks together yeah so I was just going to say you can't change your body type um, okay. so I guess you could look like have... a humanoid dog yeah like I, I imagine myself like looking like more of a gnoll than an actual like a dog furry. yeah I could make myself look like Gary the gnoll potentially <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a bit shorter Gary gnoll yeah yeah so, can, can I do that? You you could make yourself look like Gary the Knoll if you wish. I don't know why you want to, but okay, let's go with it. Let's just roll with it. So, let's know um, with it. We'll, we'll know with it. And then I want to dash and feline agility. Okay. And then run outside and through the window, like as fast as humanly possible of the flat that had no answer. Oh, from the outside. Yeah. Or okay. I don't have like a lock pick or anything. Okay. So, do you I'm want to hide the door? Uh I guess right. Acrobatics your um you're jumping into the window and I guess um athletics to see if you break through it. Sure. Yeah. You 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 come charging in basically dressed as Gary the Knoll. Burst through this window and um as as you do like Can I this... leave like the, the front door to the to the to, like the to flat buildings open. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and yeah. as you Impressive rolls so far. I know, it's oh, feeling pretty good. <laughs> Just wait till bad. they're important, okay? It's <laughs> 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 when I'll flick my, my, my cheat button that, that does the opposite. Um, switch. The command switch. Um, yeah, so as you, as you kind of burst through, you know, glass flies everywhere. And this very well-built um, man who's kind of just facing the other way turns around very slowly looks at you and goes, Hmm. Tilda. It's me. It's you. So we finished with you smiling at uh, Mr. Tokjar when he said uh, something t along the lines of, I um, believe lost artifacts or lost powerful artifacts or ancient artifacts or whatever should remain lost ancient artifacts. Um, yeah. And Mr. Powers was having a very interesting, like, ooh, oh my, cool, this sounds awesome. And oh. there's an unconscious uh, brute, I guess, just kind of sat in the corner of the, the wee pub. Yeah. So is um, Top Car doing anything after that? Immediately, or... Um... No, he he kind of like he he looks at you smiling and then turns uh, to kind of pick up uh, his the drink his drink that was uh, on the the the, the, top, the table and um, you know takes a sip. I think while he's doing that, I'll turn to like powers and see how did you come across the box you that you did you know that you're aware of. Well. There was a strange, uh, strange folk were passing through, you know, Pompeii, and obviously I deal with all the, 
all the caravans and carts that come it through here. Blink slowly and just start shaking my head. If you could abridge this tale, I do not have many years left in me. And just like smile very like forcedly. He looks um he looks quite shocked when you say that. Um and uh you know, kind of looks at you. And um he goes, Huh. You know, you must be older than I thought. Yeah, and then he just says Yeah, it's strange a uh, gentleman was uh, talking about uh, some think, mystical um, boxes. When he says, like, older than, you, you know, I thought, I think Tilda just kind of, like, her smile, her forced smile will relax into, like, a genuine smile. Yeah. And she'll say, hopefully by quite a significant amount, yes. And then, like, her yeah. Just... And, yeah, I guess, like, at that, he would kind of just nod, and he'd have, like, a quite sincere smile. Well, because on. I think Tilda wants him to think she was quite young. Hence, you know, her actual age versus what he thought hopefully is vastly different. Um, and yeah, it probably is if you like happened to roll insight on it, which I'm obviously you don't need to. Um, you would have you would have uh, gathered that. Uh, yeah, he was genuinely thought you were pretty young, even for for your 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 kind. Yeah, I don't like. It's not really that thing. I don't think she would roll and say she doesn't really like care what people like think of her as age wise. That's not a thing. Yeah. she has to, um, time for. <laughs> but yeah, he, yeah, he says uh, there was a strange, um, a strange uh, elf man was just uh, talking about some ancient artifact up at the the ruins that I have forgotten the name of. Um. Is this the Callum ruins. or this is Callum. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bear cool. with me. Uh, while well, I um, while well, he does that, I'll ask him to describe the elf man as well in detail. Um, you get a very I'm obviously looking to try and compare it to Tizor. Obviously. Yeah, you get um. Let me. Oh, did you know I'm even going to bother showing you? You get you get an ex- like pretty much exact picture of T T uh, Tizor. Um, yeah, and I think like even if it was slightly vague, I think it would direct his description to like. And what about the all the specific details I know about Tizor without saying Tizor's details? You know, yeah. like if I know um, Tizor has long black hair, I'll say what was his hair like? Was it long? Was it short? You know, I'll help yeah. guide that particular conversation so that if it does match, good, and if it doesn't, cool. Yeah, uh, that's and that happens. You get that um, description. Maybe you know we have those like flashbacks of, of um, you know. Tizor uh, standing in the thingy talking to someone about the the box uh, or d- artifact hidden in the the Murmac ruins. There you go. Um, remember Murmac the name. Or Murmac. Murmac. M-U-R-M-A-K. M-U-R-M-A-K. Hey, uh, what do I know about that place, if anything? Uh, is it like well known I think or they, is they, it like it's... unknown? It's not reasonably well known. They come from the fog. <laughs> um, I I think what you know really about it is the fact that that's where um Peter went, because that's what Peter said in mm. the past. Um, it's just it wasn't named then, so he didn't actually say that. But okay, I don't know if I was there for that. though, was I? Was that not Emu? Oh, it might have been Emu. Um, yeah, I don't know if Tilda knows that. So okay. Uh, I don't know, like, does Peter remember telling Tilda that? Peter would. Sindra would not. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm pretty sure um, Tilda fobbed uh, Peter onto Emu by then. Yeah, I think it was like when I was coming back, that was like the flashbacks, like we were getting of what you had spoke about with maps and stuff. So yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, And the what do's all fling you on the, the world map. Yeah. And it is there, obviously. Okay. But there are no one, like, so, like, Tilda knows that that's a place that exists. Um, yeah, I'd say you know it's a place that exists, Um, but that's probably about it. Anything about it is, like, vague. Um, You know, people have loads of theories, like every other ruined, creepy place. Oh, no, I mean, I'm going to just go like... for this and say, what do I know, though? <laughs> Literally, uh, very little. 
Okay. There so, is there is very like, little like lore wise about it. So it's like new as like ruins, or is it just people don't go there? People just don't go there. Um, you know, people don't go to Ravenholm. Um, or whatever it's called, I've forgotten. That's bad. Ravenloft. Raven. <laughs> anyway, um. Barovia. So yeah, no, yeah, it's it's just that. Um, it's so old that people have like. Um, it's always been ruins. Is from like any sort of ancient like pieces of lore that you've read or um so come we're across. Thousands of years. Yeah, we're talking ancient, ancient, as opposed to. This is pretty old, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Uh, where's the most likely place Tilda would think to learn about it? Um. Probably there. Um. <laughs> to be honest. But, okay. I will. It's read it's the that book vague. Mormack, from Mormack. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's valid. Yeah. Because okay. um, generally people just don't go. Um, I think. There's enough kind of spooky stories where people just can't be bothered, and it's just out of the way enough that it's, eh. And it was it's never been put down in like that. Like there's so many more like quote unquote ancient places, um, in the world that, uh, have like such like a rich history and lore that people love. Kind of like oh man, we need to we need to find out all we can about this because they've had some writings of it in some places but there's just literally nothing there so it's just been kind of left ruled by some kind of furling hmm interesting okay right so with him mentioning that i mm. did he say because i'm forgetting now because we started speaking about more mac but like did he say that some elf man had told him to go get a box. No, the elf man was talking about um ancient, like powerful artifacts hidden in Murmak. Right. And um he then he would went on to well, I don't think he did in character, but he would have gone on to explain that um he thought that is a good opportunity to make some some money. Um I gotta like wave his hand off to stop him like kind of muttering again goes This elf man that you Overheard. Um, where did you encounter him? Right here, in my my shop. When? Oh, must have been the equivalent of a few months back. Whatever months are in my stupid time system. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're about like what eighty nine cycles each, right? So something like that, <laughs> give or take. Each month slightly different, yeah. you see. <laughs> Uh huh. Need a D six between months, <laughs> <laughs> and did you subtract it or divide it? I don't know. Um, um, Fifty months. <laughs> like you divide half of it and then subtract the remainder from Rounding the. Up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, cycles aside, the um... see in relation to when I got the quest from Topshar. Uh huh. Or whoever technically gave me the quest. Right, like let's like let Tilda f mind flash back to that. How far off is that from when he would have got it? Probably, like if his if his um timing is accurate, probably within a month. Hmm. Um, any time in the last thirty nine cycles. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in theory, these two artifacts were discussed at the same time, assuming they are your quote different artifact and not the same artifact not the same that one. has yeah, been yeah. moved. Yes. We have no way of knowing if the but do we? See that map we were on? Can you take us back? Uh, by all means. Badoof. Right, so is the ruined temple where we were with Tokshar? Uh no. Oh the ruined temple. Over here. Um, you wouldn't point. know. Right. Okay. What is? I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it isn't. Map. With our glorious roadmap, what is the ruined temple then? 
Um, when Emu went to the library and marched in to find out about the kind of what was here and when was here and old things, there were like the three kind of right, points that he that found on the map. Yeah. Okay, cool. Has Emu shared that information with like Tilda yet? I mean, there was no reason to. Like, I know, that's what I'm trying to work No, out. I don't like, think there has actually been um, a shared thing, like, but uh, again, if you wanted to while travelling. I was going to say, yeah, while travelling it could have come up, it just depends if Emu kind of would have brought that up if uh -huh. it could have been important, but I don't know, that's, that's an Alexander call. Um, I, I think um, the, that there were temples in the area, or uh, ruins in the area, and maybe um, probably the Mermac ones, just because of their proximity to Palpai. But I think specifically the ruined temple and the ancient town probably wouldn't have. Okay. Right, okay. So, I know I was in a temple. I don't know where the temple was. Mm -hmm. We then came to Merchton, travelled to Pampai, mostly to get away from Tizor, to learn of a, your quote, second artifact that came from Mermac. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I'll turn to like powers and say, your business with the artifact, has it now concluded given recent events? Well, seeing as I don't have it, and I don't quite fancy going back down to the sewers to get it. Do you? So you believe its location is within the sewers beneath us? Well, that's where I was. I had the box. It's... I no longer have it. Can Call me, me a fool if you like. The, can you tell me anything about the... the time you were taken? Um... Your assailant or anything. Any details, however minor they may seem. Now would be a good time for details, however unnecessary you, you deem them. I think he kind of scratches his chin a bit, um, and he kind of looks up at you and says, All I really remember is... Speaking to... I was going to say the bird. Oh my god. <laughs> Speaking to the birds. So he's a plant in the other game. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, not 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 the bird. Peter. Speaking to Peter. Um, speaking to my the the healer in the. I don't think he knew him by name at all. The healer in their uh, the fight club, uh, whom I hired. Uh, didn't didn't bother asking his name. He's a bit of an adventurer, you see, a bit eccentric. Uh, he uh, he came over, handed me the box. I gave him. Uh, I handed over the the payment that I promised, and I remember feeling like I was being jerked backwards, and then waking up. And then he does he does that thing where you know you suddenly remember something. Oh, two seconds. Yeah. Oh. My. Tilda looks at him and thinks on this until Callum returns. Yes, he um <laughs> He yes, he looks like he just remembered something the and then goes deadly silent. I, I um, received half of my payment because it was cut in half by a void portal or some stuff. Like yeah, that. I know, but he doesn't know that, to be fair. Alright, uh, okay, okay. Tilda does. He Tilda does. This. Um yeah. and uh yeah, he like yeah, his eyes go wide as if he's just remembered something. There was a a woman of uh, and then it did like kind of struggling to remember, kind of like when you're trying to describe something from a dream. Mm -hmm. Um and he he like does sort of like weird panned gestures going, uh um with uh lights. Uh I don't uh, I don't really remember. And then he like rubs his eyes. And then he kind of just, you know, kind of looks down 
Can I like can I check him over to see if like there, he's been like magically kerfuffled by this? Like are this is it like the after effects of somebody having mind blamed the guy? Yeah, yeah, by all means. I, I shrug you want to... Arcana? Yeah, I was gonna say do you wanna do you wanna Ar- 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 the Uh yeah, let's give this a go. Let's roll terribly. Nope. Let's not roll terribly, that's pretty good. Nice. Um Ooh. yeah, it, it, it seems like it's as soon as he remembered, he started to forget. Um, yeah. To you through, and it seems like that that there's no, you know, there doesn't seem combining to be an in-world last... natural event that causes that. Combining the two things I have posted in chat currently, um, is there any way I know to like jump start? Memories that have been like taken by, say, magic, or at least like maybe suppressed by magic, like you know, smelling salts, or hitting them on the head, or saying names like Leah Heath to them, right? Yeah. Like, is there anything I know between the eighteen and the uh, the researcher that I can do to be like, while he's in this kind of moment, jumpstart that memory to be like just before it's fully gone? Um. I think well, above beating this man up if I have to, right? <laughs> like I know he can probably take me, but I feel like if it gets the memory back quickly, I'll take it, you know. Yeah, um, I think, um, I'm willing to maybe through your experience back. of yeah. <laughs> oh God, no! Like I'm, I'm willing to. I don't. I never said I will. I'm just saying, <laughs> if that's what those two things get me. I will touch him and kill him, and then touch him and stabilize him, and then find a healer to bring him back. Yeah. Um. Two things, I think. I think um, what you know from sort of maybe your experience in the world, um, the the sort of um, memory erasure, sort of. I'm not gonna say magic, um, because it is technically, um, but it's kind of very imperfect magic and doesn't. There's no evidence of it being permanent. But when it's active, it uh, the the only ways to kind of preserve the the sort of memories in the immediate future is to actively not be thinking of that thing, or there is um like a sort of but don't chase the rabbit essentially is what you're saying. yeah. In the same way, kind of, with the dream. And also, there's um, sort of a hard drive recovery place (laughs) um, in the forests where some ancient kind of... Well, ancient. I say ancient. They're not ancient. Some old elfy people um, kind of just live there, uh, and they supposedly have... um, I don't want to say anti-memory loss syndrome, but anti-memory loss uh, serum. Memory recovery powers, yeah. Yeah. You know? Hard drive recovery. Yeah, um, data recovery center. Right, okay. Where are they from us? From you, they would be, from what you know, around there. Cool. What kind of elves are they? Foresty elves. Whatever they happen to be. Okay. So, likely to be friendly. Likely to be friendly. Yeah, they're just quite old. Old foresty elves. You see how someone draws a pentagram over their camp. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, if, I mean, if it works, right? Like, I'm, like, so long as it works. Okay, cool. Um, I think I would. But end, the, I, that much, I was, was going to say, say there's there, um, there's no like recent information on it. That's kind of like a. Oh, everyone knows that you go to the 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 weird elves in the forest for for this thing, but it's never really an issue. So nobody actually has. Mm-hmm. Um, or at least they haven't in recent memory. Okay. Um, I mean, do I know any more on that being both elven and really old? Um, you know that there are kind of kooky elves that live in that forest. That's okay. Cool. Um. Right. Second question that you're probably gonna hate. Ah, here we go. Where's Tilda from? Where is Tilda from? Right, so I thought of this. I actually have thought of this. Cool. Okay. Everyone, apart from obviously off-worlders, 
are not from this region of the world. <laughs> right, that's fine. So it's like a new part of the world. But yeah, so like it's if we unfamiliar. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's fine. That works for me. So I'm from off the map. That works. Yeah. Okay. Because I knew um, someone would ask at some point, and I was like, I think I feel like I want to build that part with yeah, the everybody after this, you know? Um, if this yeah, kind of went on for a bit, then I was like, yeah. But Okay, I think I'll tell him to try not to worry too much about the memory. Hopefully it will come back in time. The The fact that you may have this answer means you could be a great help averting some potentially horrible disaster upcoming. I'm sure given what you have experienced yourself already this evening, that you would not wish this type of um, misfortune to fall upon others. Can I just smile at him? Yeah. I think he looks at you, um, you know, still kind of like... Maybe, maybe a bit sort of... Um... You know, annoyed that you can't remember something that you definitely do know. And um, going, uh, yes, yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yes. Um, no, no, of course not. Um, and then he kind of looks and orders a drink from the from the the bar. And, uh... Yeah, and I think I'll just um think on what I have learned, quite frankly. Um, and then I think before, like she's kind of done, she'll just say to talk shower. I am Tokshar. Hmm. I'm assuming he heard all that anyway. Yes, he heard all that. This second artifact, would you be interested in assisting its recovery so we could lose it? I give him a look. And he, he looks at you and goes, I mean, I guess if it's Merely in the sewers, I'd, I feel like um, somewhere less accessible would be a better place for, for such items. Again, there is a reason they were lost. Yes, I think it would be best that we lose them again. But if we lose them, at least other people may find them more difficult to track. And then I'm, like, pamming the uh, dagger, like on like the back of her belt or something so he can see it so he gets that i'm implying leah heath without really saying it yeah yeah that's parts. fine yeah. um yeah he, he clocks on and goes hmm yes yes you're probably right let's let's do that i don't know if that like <laughs> that reaction maybe scares tilda more than it should <laughs> yeah but yeah like she says yes perhaps you could um drink up here and we will return. Rob, you are indebted to me and my fellow travelers to a significant financial fee. I feel like you you do what you have to do to maintain your ability to settle this debt. And I'll just smile at him. The attempt is that that isn't a threat. It's some form of relief as a statement. Yeah. So that he doesn't um, stress about us breaking his kneecaps, right? Yes. Uh, I think he do he does give you like a, a smile. He d it's still kind of a nervousy smile because he's you know lost a decent amount, but he's it's kind of a grateful look as well because he's obviously um you know most people would just be like worth my money. And yeah, and I'm, like, I'm not unsympathetic to the fact that he has lost like a lot as well, and we are obviously annoyed and. It seems to be bigger than it actually is, right? It's like I'm hoping that he is now aware of the severity of things to a degree and is aware that I am not his enemy. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, I would rather have an ally um, in this. I'll say to them both, this is, in fact, I'll just talk to talk Char. I'll say, uh, if you're willing to assist in the recovery of this artifact, I will go fetch the others and hopefully we will all be reading from the same page. I like nod to both of them yep. and leave cool. and go find the others. That's fine. Uh, as you do, I guess, Talkjar kind of turns, uh, starts to down his, his beverage, stands nice. up and gives um, Mr. Powers like a big slap on the back and just starts to walk out. And we come back in on a to Baxi with the Maxi. Um, 
Go on. This big, hefty, burly man turns around very slowly. Yep. Does Does he look like this is his place? Or is oh. he, does he look like an intruder in any way that an intruder might look like an intruder? <laughs> no. So if you if you look at, if you kind of like take in the, the flat, there's, you know, um, some like animal heads on the wall. There's a cup, like a, a rack just filled with axes. Um, oh boy. Uh, none of them like war axes or battle axes or anything. They're all just like, you know, wood chopping or hatchets or and, you know. They're tools, not weapons. Man. Um, there's a, uh, you know, there's a lot of like woodwork going on. Um, you know, like half finished tables and stuff. Uh, and he's wearing, you know, whatever the typical lumberjack type person of this universe would wear. Mm. <clears throat> and he just turns around and goes, "Hmm." Could I? Uh doing my best like Gary the Knoll impression which I imagine is not very cognizant at all. It's, it's basically what I, it's a half dog, half knoll. They call me Gary! Like, that's uh, that's that's Gary. Hello? Hello? <laughs> so, like get through the window just making these weird noises trying to seem like as strange as possible in an Oculus. Yeah, as, um, as, as, as little sentience as possible. That's fine. He looks at you and just very like you know, like moving very slowly, as if not to like spook a spook an animal. Um, mm. very slowly, kind of takes a like a, a couple steps to the side, and walking past his rack of axes and just picks up. Uh. The sort of heftiest looking axe in the thing. Oh, um, and kind of brings it into his hand. And just slowly goes, It's okay. It's all right. Don't panic. Takes a step towards you. Um, How wide is this flat? Like, is the door... Do I have to really get close to him to get to the door? Or He is in between you and the door. So... Okay. If you think, like, the door is, like, right across from the window and the axe is literally to the... Like, if you walk in from the door to the right, so you're left yeah. of that of that door. So he's taking a side step to be in reach of the, the axe and now taking, like, steps towards you, in between you and the, the door. Could I, like, with my eyes, very clearly look at him and then the axe and then spook, like, a deer that's obviously trapped and, like run out the window because i imagine like it's not 120 yards to go from the front door round the back to the window so i imagine i'm still like speed running yeah um, by all means you can just jump out the window and then look like look back at him as i'm jumping like a side glance through the window give him the finger <laughs> whatever is the equivalent for a null <laughs> give him the paw um, yeah as you jump out he just sighs and goes I don't think my insurance covers this hmm. um, so he hasn't he hasn't followed me out no he's kind of I think um, if you're like still looking in he's kind of turned and found like big planks of wood and he's you know, looks as though he's going to start boarding up this window that's just been broken. Mm. He's a very, you know, there's a problem, fix it now, kind of, yeah. kind of guy. It seems. A pretty decent bloke, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Shame, you know, someone just burst through his window. I know, I know, but I needed to know. <laughs> I mean, I don't really, but um. So, is there anybody like around me on the street, in the in the glut garden? the back garden that I've jumped back out. I mean, um a view of people. I mean not really. Um I think like the the actual like gardeny parts are like on the sides um that like aren't really like properly viewable from like, you know, the main street or whatever. 
Um, you know, just because, like, you know, residents want a little bit of privacy in their, in their, in their wee gardens, you know. Hmm. In that case, um, am I like on anywhere near the same timeline as these guys? The rest of the foot, the gang. You're um. What what I'll say is like if you're in the like say early-ish morning um and they're in like it's it's getting quite late mm. so i don't have so to wreck like, on my my previous statement of it being yesterday you know, the evening before yes that's what i meant yeah okay so he's like ahead of you by like asleep yeah um so could i just turn back into gorm after glancing to see if anyone's looking and then like rush back to the front door mm -hmm. and then um could i pop like two or three golds under the, the is there like a gap in the door or like a, yeah there's a, probably a, enough a of a gap to like slide under like a couple couple pieces of coinage yeah i have the information i wanted to know um and uh I guess I'm going to start heading back to the the tavern um, where I last was with the gang. Cool. Uh, and what we'll do is we will, I guess, cut from you and go straight to Emu, Ovek, Digdoglio, and Peter. I think the first thing I'd like to do is sort of... Not give up on interrogating him, but so basically hand him over to uh, Dig Doglio and say, "Here, orc, hold him." And uh, as I turn around, I turn back and say, "Don't kill him." And then uh, I sort of point at Peter, and then sort of questioningly, you know, when you're not quite sure, um, ask Peter, and just see if I get a response. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Yes. Are you done bothering this person now? This is my cart. There's a lot more stuff in it than was there before. Want to help me search it? Um, um, yeah, um, sure. Um, yeah. Cool. Look for anything valuable or anything with, with a significant amount of metal. Cool. And then I'd walk over to the cart and start searching. Cool. Um, as you I go guess I'd it... just be discarding or placing anything that's not mine and of no value just to the side in, in this wherever we are, just outside. Okay, right. So when you say not, everything that's not mine and of no value mm -hmm. do you mean you're keeping the things that aren't yours and have value? I want to know what there is that's not mine and has value to decide what, what I want to do with it. Um, most of it seems to be uh, there's quite a lot of like food stuffs, um, okay. like you know non perishable food stuffs, mm -hmm. uh, whatever they rations, may be. Rations, you could say. Yeah, rations, you could say. Um, maybe like How there's a, a a crate enough for like yeah. a small, a small troop to last. Maybe, maybe like a couple weeks. So travel. nearby runes, for example, in back, perchance. I mean, yeah, there'd probably you know? be enough for that. Um. Enough. Do you know what? There would probably there would be enough to do you um, another trip uh, back to Merchton and then back to Pampe. Okay. Or Pampai, Sorry. So I would put that to a different side to the other crap that I'm just dumping. Would that include horses as well? The number of rations. I no. Think. So that that rations is like people rations. Right. Okay. Um, cool. Horses okay. can be people rations. Yeah, I was gonna say a racist <laughs> against horses. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, and maybe like there's two other crates. Um, oh, on... never mind. I thought you meant we were gonna eat the horses as well, but you were thinking about feeding the horses. <laughs> no. Yes, of course. Right, 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 right. I, was like, I feel like it's kind of useless to eat the horses in the first day. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know. <laughs> I can always oh, buy some last day. horse feed. Yeah, true. Um. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, like like if we say there's another like two kind of crates in there, um, mm -hmm. one's kind of full, filled with clothing, um, and the other one's 
filled with... Uh, do you want to roll, uh, I don't know, a 1d10? A uh, 1d10? Okay. Yes. <sighs> yeah, so about three silver worth of tat. Okay. I'm not really in the mood for going and selling all this sort of stuff, so... Yeah, and it would take, you know, time to sell all of it. Yeah, it's just I it's just start. tat. It's, you know... Well, uh, given you know my sort of side quest to become a blacksmith and gain any kind of metal um What do you mean materials. side quest? <laughs> That's the main, main quest. quest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Main quest of, of uh, becoming a blacksmith and, and gaining as much metal material. Is there anything that could contribute to that? Um, sure. Roll roll one d hundred, and I'll tell you. Well. <laughs> Twenty-one. Cool. Five percent of that um bucket is uh is salvageable. So if we say yeah, I guess you yeah, you like get five like five pounds. Yeah. Five pounds of iron. Five pounds, pounds of them iron. Well, maybe maybe three of that's iron, and then two of it's like some random other metal. Okay, I'm just looking at the trade goods in the book. There's a pound of iron is worth one silver piece. A pound of copper is five silver pieces. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. There silver, you go. I'll gold, give you five. Branded. I'll give you five pound of iron then if, cool. for that. Copper worth more than silver. Um, just no, uh, no silver is misheard. The raw material is actually the same as copper. Oh, no, it's gold. It would it's... make some money. You seem really dumb if yeah. Yeah. copper was worth more than silver. Yeah. <laughs> a, pa a pound of copper is five silver pieces. A pound of silver is five gold pieces. So, yeah. Right, cool. I'll add that to my... I didn't mean to say silver. I meant to say copper and iron. But... Okay. Right. <laughs> the question still stands. <laughs> um, Words. Um... Um, are there any, like, things that Peter would look at at, like, trashers and everybody else would be like, that's trash? There is a lot of stuff that's, like, trash that you would probably love. Um, there's, like, there's some, like, really awful looking, like, pantaloons and stuff. Um, do you know what? There's, like, there's a, maybe, like, a wooden model of the uh i've actually forgotten the name of the instrument that you wanted but there's like a wooden model of it no god damn it i've also forgotten the horny thing the horny thing yes yeah. indeed i have it written down somewhere but it's on like a page uh, a shawm or a shawm a shawm yeah yep. um so there's like a wooden model of that uh, maybe there's a wood model of like a bard that you think kind of looks like you playing uh, a show, um, well, and it's like really badly made as well. Perfect, even better. I'm taking it. Cool. Is there, is there any coin? Uh, no. Any leather? Uh, there is or a leather belt. Be How about like that? Of leather. Okay. I'll take the leather belt. Just thinking of anything that I might need to. Torture. Um. No, like RP build some armor or yeah. something. Nothing. Like cool. leather straps to yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess before Tilda and uh, I guess talk walks in, um, Emu and Dig Dog Leo, are you wanting to do anything before that happens? I'm currently holding the child, so can I intimidate him even further? What are you planning to do? I don't know. I'm a gigantic fucking orc. Surely my presence alone should scare him enough. Or I, I mean, could just, like, shoulders to a point where his insides get rearranged. <laughs> Do you want to roll intimidation for existing? Yep! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you're <in. laughs> I feel like some people need a passive intimidate, don't they? Yeah. Like, uh... Um, I think... Like Peter. I think what happens is maybe you're just like you don't want to be outdone by this Goliath um you know scream like threatening this this boy that he's going to crush all his bones and whatever 
So you just start to like, as you're holding him, you start to like flex and stuff, and then, <laughs> and then maybe you just kind of, you just kind of let one rip, and quick, yeah. Um, and I think like, s- smells like something has died. <laughs> in his face. Um, and the the kid is like traumatized. Um, this is not. This is not just like, a, oh man, that's bad. It's in, <laughs> world ending. Like, fuck me, my eyes are bleeding. Oh yes. Um, I think he wishes his eyes were bleeding. Um, you know, something totally never thought Emo would end up involved in is chemical warfare torture. Like, <laughs> just, I'm just gonna say this now. Like that look, telling like Navy Moo was, you know. Definitely had meaning to it, like if this kid dies and we get what we need, cool. But at the same time, now here we are. I'm so glad I'm not there yet. Um, and Emu? I think um, Emu probably, like, internally, probably wouldn't bother saying, which, like, yep, cities. Yeah. Um, and uh, probably say, we. Uh, should work out a rota for making sure that he is, stays alive. And I think maybe that's when uh, Tilda walks in. Um. Yeah, so I walk into like you know, everyday, looking like their eyes are watering. I guess. Yeah. It kind of will make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> and then. <laughs> I think I look at the group and then I like uh, like talk. Maybe he's like nearby me as well, and I say, mm-hmm. um, "If you could um, afford us a moment," and I said to talk and I like gesture inside with the others, so that he goes inside and uh, I say, "Emu, if we could um, catch up," and I just look directly at her. Gladly quite keen to get out of the room yeah and we go for a a small brief walk out of your shot um of the group and the kids and whatnot yeah that's fine um talk kind of walks in sorry uh no no go yeah talk kind of uh walks in and maybe looks at uh dig dog leo and just goes oh and then we sort of jump to jump cut to use kind of like walking. I also feel like talk has possibly said to Rob, maybe he didn't, but I feel like he would say like keep an eye on the unconscious dude in the corner. Oh yeah, he definitely like, gave like, him like a, a, a nod. Um Just I feel like that would have been something I just said if talk didn't, you know. I um, I just forgot to kinda of mention it because I kinda of forgot about him. Um but Obviously, this is the guy that like robbed him. So yeah. Yeah. No, I like, I meant I mentally did that, but I, I probably should have vocalized it. But hey, that's fine. I am. So yeah. Turn to uh, you. Know. Callum, did uh, the boy register anything when Emu said when Emu mentioned the name? Was there like, um, a reaction? Yeah, I think um, to to give you like a a more sort of ooh, um, he definitely. I think as like the name was being spoken, his eyes sort of like darkened, and he, like, uh, thingy, and then everything you said, it looked after that looked like that nothing was registering, and then after you stopped talking, he like showed like again that considerable amount of fear. It's always like a satellite delay, isn't it? With Alexander. Yeah, I'm never sure if it's like, and is he? <laughs> no, that, that's all I need to know. <laughs> yep, that's fine. Cool. I asked the question; it was answered. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Need to sign off on your commentary then. <laughs> um... Out, <laughs> Alexander. Out. Um. Yeah, so I'll turn to you, me. I'll say, have you learned anything useful from the child? Little of use. Uh, he, the, the child is, uh, is young, but seems to have no great affinity for life. 
I doubt that um, there is much uh, that will be gained from forceful question. Yes, I agree. He seems quite um, reluctant from last time I met, like I spoke with him. The information I have gathered from Tokshar, however, is somewhat more concerning. The artifact in question no longer intrigues him enough to pursue it, so we are free of this obligation via him. However, this does not free us of the obligation from Tizor, who seems to have been overheard by Rob Powers, as that led him to feel this artifact that we pursued. The second artifact, that is. Um, Tizor was in Pampai? So it seems. I am somewhat surprised that Toksha is so happy to be here, then. Was implies past tense and doesn't rule out <laughs> will again, sadly. So, for the moment, his uh, willingness to be here and his relationship with Tizor remain somewhat unimportant to our present conundrum. We are in possession of one artifact. We no longer need to assign it to anyone anymore. Tizor may pursue us and look for it, but this is fine. We will deal with that as and when that comes up. However, Leah Heath is somebody that T Tokshar fears greatly. And given what I have witnessed of Tokshar's abilities currently, that would mean this Leah Heath is someone far beyond us. And she just looks like really like deep in thought, like she's still like her eyes are still like darting from left to right as if she's still searching for like an answer. Yes, I suspect it was um, this woman who is behind the boys uh, attempt at uh, finding all the the item and the burglary attempt. Yes, unfortunately I now feel like we need to go back into the sewers to recover the second artifact, or at least to make sure that it has been searched thoroughly so we can rule out it falling into the wrong hands. I have asked Tokshar if he will assist in this, but I cannot say I wish him to end up with possession of the second artifact. While he does not want the first, that does not mean he does not want the second. <sighs> Back under the city. Why do we never have these assignments just out in the country, in the nice leather field, or a nice wood? <laughs> like I think, like, tell them how he smiles at that, and I, like, almost remembering, you know, like the situation beyond this current moment, um, at large, and it's just traveling the world, you know, and uh, she says, perhaps if we can recover this artifact swiftly, we can be done with this city and others for a time. I believe that we will find more answers to origins of the second artifact from those ruins of Mermak, eh, north of here, or incredibly far south of here, eh, depending on <laughs> how far you're willing to walk. But the... Um, I would say that we best search quickly. We have not had the most luck in anything, actually, recently. I, so I would suggest we do this swiftly. Whether or not we incur the help of the others. And she kind of shrugs at that and says, I am more than willing for it to just be us that go in, even with Tokshar. However, I feel like we must prepare to depart this place also. Splitting our forces may not be the worst idea. Preparing our departure and, you know, Perhaps getting this Rob Powers to assist us in putting together some expedition towards these ruins to try and learn something that might help us against, at least for now, Tizor's immediate rebuttal. And I just like run my hand over my head, you know, like unsure, you know, <laughs> what the hell she's doing. That's fair. <laughs> And, and then you see, that, uh, I'll just like look up at you know, and be, and be like, 
the eyes definitely say, what's next, Emu? But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then you see Tizor uh, just walk past behind Emu. You don't. I hate you. you don't. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. Cool. Um. As as you're kind of walking, it starts to get sorry, like. Is there a, is there a reply from you, Mister? Oh, sorry. Um. Nothing of consequence. Okay. Cool. Not anything of inconsequence, but entertaining. I think if that's the reply, then she says. So what is your preference? Take everyone back into the sewers and have a rather loud and obvious search party that may incur other people to care, or shall we both try and go in surreptitiously? And if it is the latter, shall we in involve Talkshar or not? I worry about any further involvement from Monsieur Ja. I agree with your assessments that his interest may be piqued if he comes in such close proximity with another bot. As for the splitting of the group, the uh, the likelihood that we survive the encounters would be far greater in proportion to our numbers. I we have leveled up significantly we... since then, though. Turns out this but, was level up to. But I haven't got all my point, my key points back. <laughs> you only need a short rest for that. We can go in an hour, right? I think we need to go right this very second. We technically have hours to kill before we catch up to Gorm's time. Yeah. Um. I was going to say it's it... probably like getting like probably quite late at this point for you guys. Um, as you're kind of walking, um, maybe you've done like a little loop. Um, you're kind of so heading. Perhaps we should rest and see what the morning brings. Delay, I feel. If you are unwilling to assist, I, I, I'll go alone. And she just, she looks like you know, she clearly doesn't want to, right? But there's this kind of sense of like urgency about her, like as if if I don't do this, this could get much, much worse. That's the vibe. She has, like, you know, she is actually, like, actively worried about things. Where do you suggest we start? I think at that point, you realize you're standing over a, a manhole cover. <laughs> I think I just tap my feet twice. And then, I don't know. Uh, you can... Here we go, killing again. <laughs> 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 And yeah, like I'm, I'm happy to just go straight to it, quite frankly, or whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't mind how that plays out, but yeah. That's fine. What we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly. I'm also happy to sit for an hour while Emu gets her breath back. Or could that walk have taken the hour of us talking about things? I do you know what? I am back? happy for that. Like for you to have just walked off for an hour, um, and kind of you know gone in in depth into your thoughts and recounting the conversation you had with talk and stuff like that i, I don't see how that um no i do see that how that could take an hour say, you know i was gonna say Emu would have um had a lot of time doing not terribly much since before i left anyway because there was yeah. no act like not necessarily a lot of activity from Emu specifically in the interrogation stuff that obviously ovek and i think doglio had so technically yeah. so you know, i i yeah I'm, I'm happy for that to count as a short rest if you wish, Emu. If you don't wish, that is also fine. Uh, uh, I mean, Alexander <laughs> would love it, but... Um, I, yeah, Emu doesn't I, want to I go do have... the stairs alone. Um, well, also key, you have to spend 30 minutes meditating. Ah, okay. So it's up to you then, like, you can spend the next 30 minutes um, meditating. Uh which is nah, fine. I, I think we just go for it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to quickly jump over to um, Warehouse Gang. Now with Mr. Jar. It doesn't say you can't walk and meditate, though. Meditating, it doesn't mean sat on your ass cross-legged. Meditating is just thought. I think, what is meditating to Emu? 
uh, I think is the question. Being alone. There we go. Okay, dokie. I was going to say, that's going to be very difficult then on any <laughs> short rest, right? Without putting yourself in danger of ambush in the future situations. I, I think in, in this case, uh, it won't count. I mean, I, I presume since we leveled up and I gained new key points, could would I get those new key points would count as unused? Do you know what? Sure. Cool. Thanks. And if there's a rule saying otherwise, I guess, well, house rules. There we go. Whoa! I said the curse word. Um... <laughs> Um, warehouse guy. So Talk Jar kind of comes in um, and just goes, ooh, uh, looks at you, Dick Doglio. Hello. Um, and then he kind of like looks over to Peter, nods. Uh, oh, looks over to Peter and Ovec, I guess, uh, nods. Um, what's, what's everyone sort of, you've got like an hour or so of, of kind of narrative space to play with here. I would probably turn around and say, "Ah, did you catch the cart?" Indeed, I did. It's uh, outside the tavern as we speak. Didn't take me too long. Uh, got ourselves a little, uh, little um, guest as well, along with it. Hmm. Maybe that one's worth a search too. And I look oh, at Peter. Oh. oh God, here we go again. Um, yes. Um, whatever you say. Um, <coughs> Dude, bro. I'm... Oh, poor Peter. I'm just gonna say, um, we promised payment for this, for our our work, and we've received nothing. I think it's only fair that we get first look at what's in the cart. I don't mean to ruin this man's life, hence, and I point at the pile of his possessions that I've just put to the side for him to kick back. Yeah, and it's quite a substantial amount of stuff, I think. Mm. Um, like. You know, although a lot a lot of it was just like tat, it's like for someone with time, it's sellable tat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe like you know, you've not yeah, left him I'd penniless. Turn back to talk and just say, "Is it out front?" Hey, yeah, come on, you, do you wanna? Yeah, I'd follow him. Have a look yeah. through. Yeah, um, he kind of like looks to everyone else as well as he leaves. Um, dig dog. Well, everyone else being dig dog Leo. <laughs> Assuming Peter is just like following Ovec out of I don't know fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. Head hanging low, kind of like. Slumping. I think. Mean, would I notice that? Would I notice that you're like reluctant to? I'm not reluctant because I'm a people pleaser, but yeah. I'm still like. Just I, th I think they're Ovec. But I, I did Ovec's find like... a really cool statue, so I'm kind of. <laughs> Kind of excited, but feels it's pretty pretty wrong to rob people from them. So, but hey, that thing was just lying there. No one's gonna use that. Yeah. So. Now he's sort of battling with the the mor the the moral uh, yeah. issues of um. It's more like, is this else. stealing or is this just? I just whip out gambling. the contract that he oh. owes is fifteen hundred gold each or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, technically, he doesn't. Oh, he only owes, um, or in his mind, yeah. he's already paid uh, Peter, but um. Yeah, but I'm happy for the things that Peter takes to be off my cut. Aww. Oh, um, God. so yeah, but like if if um Peter's trying to hide the fact that he's a bit like oh, um, then that's a different question. If not, then I guess all of it can notice is what I was. Yeah. Hinting at then. Probably. Well, he would probably try to hide. Hmm. He's not really displeased. He's more just scared of what Ovik would do if he is displeased with what I'm doing or Peter is doing. Okay, are you trying to hide your fear of me? No, the fear is quite obvious. Okay. I think as we're walking, I'd... I think I look down at him and say, I sort of gesture towards the, the kid on the floor and said, Don't worry about me you've done nothing to wrong me you have nothing to fear 
uh, yeah, 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 yes, um, what, 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 uh, <clears throat> whatever, you, whatever, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. I'll just uh, point at the statue and say, see if we can find you some more nice trinkets. Oh, yes, I, 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 I do like trinkets. Uh, yes, that would be very nice. As Good. long as it's not stealing, because I only steal from dead people. Don't worry, this they, man... Not off their bodies, but, like, in ruined castles and things, yeah. This man owes our party a lot of money. This can be off my cut. I'm happy to... You owe me money, too. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Uh, sure. cool. Uh, Dick Dog, though, are you, are you following? Are you staying put with the, the child? I am staying put with the child. Okie dokie. This is more uh, Chris, too. Although I'm pretty sure if I, if, I, if I let go of this child, he would just straight up die. I mean, yeah, there's always the possibility. Um, so I think uh, what happens then in that case is the as as they sort of leave, um, the child kind of goes, <laughs> I guess it's just um, me and you. Huh. I would like to bang the base of my battle axe on the floor just to make sure he doesn't talk. Ah, um, not one for for chit chat. Um, do you want to roll a perception, Dig Doglio? I can roll a perception for you there. Um, now where is that? There it is. Cool. Just mediocre. Um, as as you maybe like bang your the your battle axe on the ground, and he goes, ah, oh, not the talking type, huh? And you just kind of maybe you kind of just look away, and sort of disgust or whatever. Um, obviously not wanting to talk to this 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 child is probably going to attempt to this off himself at any chance. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> you see standing, um, at the like the the warehouse door where the the car is, um, a scruffy looking dog. Looking towards you. <gasps> and he says, Warwick! <laughs> Drop the child and chase it! Oh, God. Um, actually, actually, you know, before I do that, I, I'm, I'm going to shout workers and I'm, I'm trying to get the dog over to me. Cool. Animal handling me with disadvantage because oh. you're holding a child. Oh, fuck. And you're looking very menacing. Uh, as you go, uh, as you go, um, walkers, come here, walkers, walkers. He, he like starts to run towards you, um, and then maybe like just something, kind of go, something kind of spooks him. He slows down. His tail goes between his legs, and he runs off. No, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he was gonna bite the kid there. <laughs> the kid dies. <laughs> I can live with that. Where is my dog? <laughs> right, right. I'm, 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 I'm a strong gentleman. Can I pick up this child and chase after it? Okay. Um. Give me. Uh, I guess an athletics for lifting the child. Okay. Fourteen. Yeah. Um, you pick up the child, put it over your shoulder, um, and uh, yeah, he d he doesn't put up much of a fight. He seems pretty like still pretty weak from from everything. Um, <laughs> being horrifically tortured. Yeah. Um, and you can uh, what to do is just roll. Uh, no, uh, you start running after Barkers. Why not? Um, he kind of goes left. You go. You go left too. Um, and it gets to a point where it comes to another sort of, um, you can either go left or you can go right, um, and you hear a bark, but it seems to come from both directions. Oh, fuck. I'm going to run left. Roll perception before you run. Good idea! <laughs> fuck! You run left then, okay. Um... <laughs> So yeah, you carry you carry on. Just you you run round left, um, and then maybe it starts to get pretty late for you, um, 
and I don't mean just for you, but like in in this this part, um, you see you like montage of running, and it gets it starts to get really late. Um, in this uh, time zone. In this time zone. Uh, the, in this cycle. <laughs> Uh, to the point where the kid is actually just falling asleep, um, with you brought with like just over your shoulder. I still um, hit me my afro. That's not canon, but you can say that. Um, <laughs> I love the image of it. Uh, so I guess maybe like after a while, you you kind of find yourself back outside the tavern again, um, having run like a full few circuits of the the town. And there hasn't been any sign of Borker since. You got that tease. That's me. I'm a tease Zor. Um. Uh. No. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I put myself off with my own joke. It's great. Um. And yet you, um, Peter and Ovek, you you kind of get that there's um your. There is your noble steed carrying your noble cart with all your noble bits of metal tat in it. Not my cart. Not my cart. It was your other cart. Okay. Uh, no, not your cart. The cart. Sorry. Yes. Okay. I got confused. <laughs> Whose um, cart is this? This is, the, this is just a cart with a horse and with some stuff in the back. <laughs> okay. Since this is not my cart, do you think I might need to roll an investigation for this one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll help you. Or wait, how good is your... You yeah. have probably got better investigation than me, so I can assist you, and no. you get advantage. It's, it's yeah. not amazing, but it's pretty good. Better than my negative one. Oh. Nope. <laughs> you go so... through it. Um, <laughs> you do, and you, you kind of just kind of... I think at this point, maybe you're a bit tired as well. It's it's quite oh. late. And you kind of look inside it, and it just looks like... Like, you go look at the first crate, and it's like, ah, uh, it's just, you know... um blankets and stuff that there's probably nothing in here um take some peter it could be a hot air balloon soon <laughs> i mean peter might find the blankets interesting i don't know um, I think that... what, what, like what's that called in english google translate <laughs> <laughs> that's ironic say in norwegian i might know it. Dude, it's not a monster pattern what kind of patterns? <laughs> they are like literally just like one single color, um, like kind of grayish, brownish. You know that sort of like non-color, that yeah. um, Move. like those horrible itchy like brine nylon, yeah, <laughs> type. I think that's too boring. Even for and it's all it's all clearly uh, what's his name's yep. stuff, right? Yeah, it's beige. Be beige. Thank you. <laughs> you know, the non-color. Yeah, beige. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Um, Is it all yeah. clearly Max Power stuff? Yeah. Oh well, yeah. It's definitely not. It's it, well. It could have been like something yeah. that one of the merchants were carting. I think in that um, case, I'd start to pick it all up and move it into his building. Okay. Yeah. Um, it doesn't take you long to take the crates into the building. Um. I wouldn't and... happen to notice if there's any heavier crates that feel like they're heavier than. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bad second. I'm just joking. No, <laughs> you don't. Okay. <laughs> um... so I've calculated how much weight of uh, metal goes into plate metal. <laughs> I'm trying to get that much. I will give you a clue. Uh, you definitely don't feel the required weight for plate mail. Um. Uh, no, no, I'm looking. Oh, yeah. Sure. And then what we'll do is we'll sort of fade there uh, and we kind of like zoom in on our t what do we see when we see our tabaxi um, enter the the tavern um, reasonably early question. in the morning. Very good question. There's nobody, there's like no patrons in when you when you walk in. There's just the bar person. So that's what I see. Um, I imagine what... I'm See, did I uh, sleep the night before? Or am I, like, yeah, yeah, really you could have slept the yet? night before. Yes, that's yeah. fine. Um, so how many hours? I'm getting more and more confused. If we're not that many hours away from him, how many hours is he away well, from like, us? Well, like like a short rest worth different... of sleeping. Like, not like a, a full night's sleep. An hour. I was thinking like three or four. Yeah, like uh, three or four. That's what I was... 
I've just said uh, four hours. Confusing, very confusing. Yes, welcome to welcome to my brain. Um, I can imagine I could myself. just come and get, get some grub and inquire about my fellow companions if anyone's seen them. By and, anyone, I mean the bar, the bar staff. And before you get an answer, we take a break. Oh no! <laughs> What a cliffhanger. Oh my goodness. I um, must know where my compatriots are. Yes. Cool. And simply must. See They're you in, in the past. about <laughs> ten minutes. Past by. Shaboom. I like it.